I'm going to start off right now with the Owen Hart tournament qualifier. Holy shit. That's the best way to put it. When that news broke, Lars texted me and said, how the fuck did we get FTR the day after this news broke? And I said, it's all you, Rockstar. So uh, <laughs> let me start out with saying this. When you go into it, and without giving too much away with the backstage stuff, you guys, f- friends forever, two Carolina boys made good. First time wrestling each other that at least I know of. Do you guys going to call it in the ring or are you guys going to sit down and map it out? How do you guys go about doing something that's kind of momentous like this in your career? For he and I, we only had one other quote unquote match against each other. That was the match that got us both hired with WWE. They brought us in to have a tryout match or to, to, to do extra work. And they said, okay, you and you get in the ring and wrestle now. He and I both are from the Carolinas, as we've said so many times before. And we worked with Ricky Morton, and we worked with Bobby Eaton, George South, and Dennis Condry, all these guys from the, the Southern Territory. If they ever saw you as a professional wrestler talking to your opponent or calling spots in the back, they would reprimand you. So thankfully, he and I both grew up calling our matches in the ring, just because we didn't want to be ridiculed by our idols. So we got in the ring together, never had we touched before. They said it may go two minutes, it may go 20 minutes. We don't know. We got in the ring and Scott Armstrong was the referee and he just said, they love it, keep going, keep going, keep going. 15 minutes had gone by and they said, okay, they've seen enough, just take it home. And so calling it in the ring is what we take pride in. This last, the the, the first half of this year so far, every single match you've seen has been one of those matches where we've felt it in the ring. You know, all the way back to Mox and Punk, to Ricky and Robert, to the match. Ian Darby. Yeah, all those matches, every one of our opponents trusted us enough to call it in the ring. I think we did a hell of a job. Yeah, I'll just, I'm going to jump in here and I'll, I'll try to condense this as much as possible. But, but just to give you guys a little bit more backstory off of what he was saying. So we knew each other in the Carolinas, like, but he's more from the coast. I'm more from the mountains. We're, fr- we're about five hours apart. And Dax put himself through college. He worked two jobs, so he didn't take a bunch of bookings outside of his capabilities. So I was trying to get out there as much as possible, and I had gotten in pretty good with William Regal, and he was helping me get some experience and get places and get a foot in the door. So the first time we did extra work together was when we first really, like, face-to-face, one-on-one talked. And I think it's apropos to talk about it now, but, like, really, like, the first thing, the bonding moment was, are you a Brett or a Sean guy? And I was like, oh, of course, Brett. And I can just know, no, nothing against Sean. I know there's some history there, but whatever. Great worker, fantastic worker, but I've just, I was, I've always been drawn to Brett. And it wasn't a personal, I, I got to choose because I hate one. I just, Brett was so good at what he does. And so that was a Monday. We, that was at a, at a Monday show. And then Tuesday, we decided to meet and ride together. So we met that morning, we rode together. We talked about like, if we get a chance to work together with, let's make sure we push that. We went to the gym together. We worked out that morning and we were just best friends immediately. Like you said, we had the match and it just kept going and going and going. And it was just, I don't know. Like when we locked up and we just started working, like I've never felt anything just that easy. But from that moment forward, we just, I went to England and I went to Japan and I went to these other places with Regal's help to get some experience because I wanted to learn as many styles as possible. And Dax was, you know, that match got him his tryout, which got him signed. And that was, you know, he was there. And we would stay in touch saying, hey, when I get to NXT, I want to do this. We need to do this. Let's push this. And as soon as, sure enough, when it happened, we just, we started pushing it. We started trying to be like side by side, seen together all the time. We just, we willed it into existence. That's what happened. And then, like you said, all the stuff we've been doing lately, it's been stuff that we decided we just wanted to have fun. Like we weren't going to stress ourselves out too much anymore because we were so anxious about stuff and trying to force things and like like hitting our heads against the wall, trying to like break through. And it's like, wait, just stop, breathe, relax. Let's, Let's just have fun. Whatever we get, let's just have fun with it. And I think it started for me after the injury. Like, and I won't touch on it too much, but I got had a conversation with Dave, Dax, whatever, where I told him I didn't think I wanted to keep going. Like, I was done. Um, Sorry. (sighs) Anyway, he talked me out of that. 
And I said, if we keep going, I just want to have fun, dude. I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be, I don't want to be stressed. I want to love it. And we said, all right, let's do it. And from that moment forward, everything we did, we just wanted to have fun. And like, it wanted to be what mattered to us, you know? And I think the fans got, got onto that. And I think the fans got behind that. And they're just like, wow, these guys are really doing it. They're doing things that matter to them. They're having fun and they're, this is success to them. This, this, this is success to me. And I, I'm pretty sure it is to David as well. Like, so like, I think people got behind that and they, they could sense it and they got along for the ride. That's, it's crazy. Sorry about all that, but there we go.